is up everybody my name is Dr. Mongoose and I'm not a doctor but I play one on the internet bringing you today a video about one of Titanfall's more controversial aspects in the community which is their use of AI in the game um, before I get started if you do hear any clanging or clunking or, or or any like sort of construction noises in the background that's because there's some construction going on the apartment downstairs for me is being renovated by the apartment complex so we just kind of have to deal with that in the background for now because they're going to be at it for the rest of the week but jumping right in it's a game of hardpoint on uh, Demeter it's the final level It's one of like the last two levels of the campaign and I end up joining late so it's uh, me rejoining my current party after my uh, game froze so I have to jump right in and you know just try and do what I can it's a pretty good gameplay I enjoyed uh, the game itself but hopping into the uh, video topic a lot of people have kind of complained and talked there's been a lot of talk in the community about AI and their use in Titanfall and whether it's a good thing whether it's a bad thing you know what uh, whether they work or whether they don't and I wanted to bring you my two cents because I'm someone who's of two minds one I'm just a, you know a player enjoying the game and two I'm also someone who thinks of things in a competitive nature and you know for all intents and purposes usually AI is not a competitive thing you don't want to have that messing with your game so I'm bringing you two you know I'm, well, I'm bringing you one thought one like state of mind on it but you just have to kind of understand where I'm coming from this is right here this little bit right here is probably one of the best um, runs I've had in a game of Titanfall is just how well I was uh, holding down this position um, so when it comes to AI in video games in general most of the time they stay out of multiplayer because you you know they don't work you need things to maintain completely in player control you don't want to throw one of those a random variable into it and most games you know rightfully avoid this however Titanfall decides that AI is a part of the game and I think that that is actually a very important choice and a very good choice and the reason for that is twofold one is um, going to be a comparison to other games and two is um, how it works for competitive play first is that one of the most popular games on the planet right now actually I'm pretty sure it is the most popular game on the planet right now is League of Legends and League of Legends is essentially it's Dota it's a MOBA if you haven't ever played it before you know go look it up but one of their big things is that they have champions that are player controlled and then there are um, minions or creep which uh, you kill for and you gain gold and that allows you to then buy items to upgrade your character beyond just your skill upgrades and your level increasing. They give you, you know, health benefits. Uh, you can move your character moves faster. You deal more damage. You gain health back for, you know, killing things. And it's a pretty simple concept. That the and the important thing is that the creep, the minions are in are a very necessary part. They're a 100% necessary part of. Uh, how League of Legends and almost all and all how all MOBAs work. You need to be able to have that farm, as it's called. Ti I look at it. Uh, I look at it with Titanfall in the exact same way. Look at this as less of just a straight shooter and more of a you know kind of shooter hybrid. If you are playing games that aren't attrition, and I attrition is it's you know its own sort of game. But if, if you play games that aren't attrition, the grunts don't really factor into it. You have to really not be paying attention to get killed by a grunt or a specter. You have to really be working hard to, you know, try and really screw that up, as they say. Um, so, when it comes down to it, the grunts are creep, they're farm, and they allow you to you get your titan faster, you get your core faster, um, you gain experience faster. And that fits into the greater strategy that is Titanfall. For, let's see, so there's six game types. There's Attrition, Hardpoint, CTF, Pilot Hunter, um, and Last Titan Standing. Sorry, there are five game types. Out of the five game types, only one of them, it matters when grunts are killed, when there are minion kills. And the rest of them, it all factors into, you know, a strategy. Are you down, you know, are you down like five or ten points in uh, uh, in domination, will having a titan with a core turn that around? Will being able to get a tight will be able to get will being able to get your titan out faster in a game of CTF give you better map control, or could it end up with you have a lumbering big target on your back? Having the uh, grunts and minions in the game, it allows you to build a 
deeper strategy and a more you know, a more depth of strategy in the game and it makes them just as necessary as you would find creep in uh, a game of League of Legends because just like in League the grunts in Titanfall they allow you to power yourself up and become a more stronger version of yourself in this case in getting into your Titan or making your Titan more powerful by getting its core ability faster just like you would say if you were saving up for you know um, a black cleaver in League of Legends so I think that the biggest thing to take away from all this is that the grunts are very very necessary and I think that they're a good thing when it comes to the play of Titanfall you have to actually think strategically about what you're doing in the game you have to you know make sure that are you farming or make sure you're not farming too much just like in league are you making sure that you're keeping you know ample focus can you turn the game around if you can gain that farm advantage back just like you know there are things in league and the biggest thing of all is that it it gives you an option for more competitive play in the more competitive game modes um, especially in game modes that are you know very objective based in CTF and uh, uh, hardpoint well, guys, that's going to wrap up the video today. I hope you enjoyed and had a nice time. Please leave your um, thoughts on grunts and how they fit into the game. But as always, guys, my name is Dr. Mongoose, and remember to watch two of my videos and call me in the morning.